hi guys welcome to cases world welcome back to my youtube channel um today we're doing something a bit different we are going to do a little makeup tutorial um while we talk about my school high school journey so this is like my high school in a nutshell um from primary i used to be a very big fan of netball i used to be a netball lover i got to high school and i started playing netball i started playing netball because um kids would make fun of me that i was like very tall for my grade and i stopped playing because i thought people would stop noticing how tall i am <laughs> dumbest reason to have stopped playing i really wish i could have stayed on um my funniest moment in high school um that i look back at now and laugh but then it was the most horrible there was this kid in my class in grade eight who called me kiwi because of how dark skinned i am most horrible moment of my life <laughs> looking back at it now um i could have handled the situation better i shouldn't have crawled to a corner and cried because there's absolutely nothing with being dark skinned and beautiful um, I recently saw a quote that said, if academics fail, it's over for me. And that used to be me in high school, guys. I was invisible, literally. If somebody was to wake up and say, academics are gone, like, I feel like there'd be no me, there'd be no Cassandra because what talent did I have? Like, literally, school kept me going, you know? Um, favorite high school memory. <laughs> When I was in grade nine, I got position one natural science Olympiad in Bomalanga. So I traveled to Pretoria for the first time ever in my entire life. I was booked an entire hotel. I went to this, it was a beautiful experience. You know, we got gifts and whatever. And I was number three or four nationally. I feel like that was like one of the biggest moments in my life. Um, two people that kept me going in high school, I have I had a lot of friends obviously in high school but my two biggest friends were patricia who like was with me through thick and thinking and i also had tweety who was the one person since primary actually who always had my back like if tweety was around you knew you could have messed with me like you don't want her coming for you so just like leave me alone you know <laughs> so um yeah really appreciate those two appreciated them still do um grade 12 was like my 360 10 guys you know i used to be like those girls that wear your chinic stuff like way below the knees i was you know i was your prefect head girl type of vibes you know teacher spirit <laughs> i got to grade 12 guys and i was like no you know what guys my chinic was like i think you guys saw the picture that she popped up I was like, yeah, no, my time has come. But anyways, the reason why this video is has a voiceover over makeup tutorials because when I went for my metric dance, I had no makeup on, no lipstick, no eyelashes, no eyebrows, nothing. I went natural because I was also scared to have makeup on because of how dark I am. And we finally learned to embrace our skin color. So here's to that, here's to growth. Um, thank you so much for watching. Um, hope to see you next time when I talk about the boy who dribbled me in high school. <laughs> but thank you so much for watching. Go back and like and subscribe. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you.